All right, welcome to another edition of our uh, monthly recap. It is December 2020, the last one of 2020. Everything is uh, starting new, I guess. <laughs> so trying something different with the, the camera here. It's even get me in there. And um, so we're here at the uh, popsblockshop.com website where you can link to any of our social media, all of our stores, those three. Um, I did mention I was start working on another venture. I was going to have a second eBay store, but that kind of took a back seat when I didn't find the camera I wanted, but eventually, maybe. And I don't have enough time for it anyway, so I don't know what I was thinking. Uh, I did update the events uh, section here where um, February 20th, 2021, we will be in Green Bay at the Bay Park Square Mall. We're very excited about that. It costs uh, you know, over double what I was paying for a spot, but... Um, when it was at the bowling alley, but it's still, it's great to be in a mall, a big old wide open space, you know, you can social distance, all that good stuff. So very excited for that. That's what we have to look forward to. And then uh, I did add brick world, Milwaukee. This was rescheduled from 2020, you know, in 2020, there was no brick worlds whatsoever. Uh, the first one in Indianapolis got canceled. I think the week before it was supposed to take place. And unfortunately we didn't get into that one. Um, but I'm hoping to get into all of them eventually and yeah, do this so-called circuit, whatever you want to call it. But, um, but yeah, uh, so I put that in there, hoping it happens. Don't know, but it's there. Um, you can click on, click on things here, um, to go to some pages. So if you're on our website, you can see the details and everything there. So we're uh, going to get into Bricklink here. Uh, I guess I just like to look at the page here. I don't know if you can see everything because my, my my camera here. I can move it down to see the orders and fans and praise or feedback. I don't know why it says praise, but here's our our parts number. Um, but we can see all this on the spreadsheet. So let's let's pull it on over from this side. And I think I got it in there. I don't know. Here we go. Bricklink sales 2020 and then Brick Owl was added in May. We started that story. I talked about in a recent blog that um, I had $8,000 in sales on uh, Brick Owl here. Actually, it was 10000 Maybe I'm at on Brick Owl. I think it doesn't add the shipping. I add the shipping costs in here just because I do it. It adds it for, for Bricklink. It'd take me a lot more a lot more time to, to take that out of there. So I just, I just add it all together and I put this disclaimer here for those that think that this is all profit or that it doesn't take much work to make this money it takes a ton of work to make this and the the profit on it is not the best the first few years honestly it's it's a lot of work for not much but now uh, i can sit back and watch the things just fly out the door and not have to do too much to keep the store going so what do we do i, I throw all the numbers out here no secrets we added 65,538 parts for sale in December. That is just crazy to think while shipping out a total of 298 orders. <laughs> I don't know how I did it. Um, actually, I had a lot of help from my oldest son. He parted out a lot of stuff, so that was great. And yes, yeah, somebody said he should be employee of the month, so he's over there listening to me. Employee of the month, buddy. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, we had on uh, Bricklink not as many sales as before. Um, I mean, I wouldn't expect it to be no November like in December. Oh, we only sold seventeen thousand parts, but still, I mean, the for the value, I had a lot of minifigure stuff go out the door. So the average um, order is sticking to twenty two dollars here above twenty two dollars. So you can see throughout the earlier of the year, it was it was kind of lower. Um, and things like that. So we were open for 28 days. I did close the first few days of the year. And then for Christmas, I was closed for like two and a half days. So average it out to, was that three days I, I put out? I don't know. It might've been four days total. I never closed the brick owl store though. And it didn't get too many orders when it was, when Bricklink was closed, but you can tell that the amount of orders compared to it. So I just threw 28 days open. seemed like a good number. Um, so for the month, we averaged 10.6 orders per day and nine orders for the year that is ridiculous to think where we came from in 2019 we had 3.6 orders per day so we almost tripled that 
number. And I would, I would think that a good number to sustain this and just be, if this was my only income, I did not do eBay. I'd say 12 orders per day, um, average order size of about $25. Um, actually $20 at 12 orders per day. That's, that's an extra $60 per day compared to this number. I think I could live off that definitely if I'm putting about $3,000 back into the store a month. Um, so it's, it's there. We're at that point. <laughs> and there's just some things that I want to reach, financial goals I want to reach before it gets to anything like that. So we're there. We are definitely there. Being uh, off this summer for, for three months and being able to work the store full time definitely, definitely showed that it is possible. And it definitely helped to drive the amount of stuff we have for sale here. 218,000 parts at the end of, end of December here. 10,651 lots. And honestly, um, right now I'm spending about 70% of my time on BrickLink and 30% on eBay. I'm looking to even that out to 50-50 and potentially go more back to eBay for, for a while. Uh, the reason being is for conventions, I'm going to need a ton of minifigures to sell um, if I start if the conventions pick up and start going again. So that was the business model I did um, you know, in 2019 when I did the first few conventions for BrickWorld. And that's what I know works. Um, if you look here, uh, I think it was August and September. I really um, was focusing on convention stuff. So I would imagine this suffered a little. So 14,000 parts, 14,000 parts. And then October also, there was one in October. So 12,000 parts. See, this should have been higher because as it gets you know colder, the days get shorter. I usually spend more time uh, doing stuff at night when it's not light outside. I like to be outside when there's, the sun's up. If I can, so, but here, uh, I was doing a lot, focusing a lot on conventions. I was probably working more too, so this didn't suffer too much, because you know, getting ready for those conventions, I wanted to be ready, and I definitely was. We definitely succeeded in those uh, the Brick World Michigan and Brick World Fort Wayne conventions we did last year. Had a lot of fun. Everyone wants to go back. We're excited to go back. Hopefully, we can go back. So. Uh, and hopefully we get to get, get into the big ones. So I for sure probably won't be in the Indianapolis one this year or Chicago because those are already set for last year. People had already signed up and already had their spots paid for. Um, but I'm holding out hope for Chicago. Uh, that'd be awesome. And um, that's always Father's Day weekend every, every year in June. So as far as I know. And so um, for the whole year, $64,760 is just mind-blowing. I'll go back to 2019. We nearly tripled it. I know I talked about the last one of these videos. We need 60, we need 70,000 basically to triple it. We had 64, which I, 50,000 I thought would be, would have been amazing for this year. That was my thoughts. That was before I knew I was going to have that time off in the summer because that definitely <laughs> helped bring this way up. As you can see, so June 15th is my first day off. We had 4,800 in the whole month of June. Then it started going up. You can see, I so I had you know half of June to upload, all of August to, or July to upload, and then August just exploded with sales. As you see, I added fifty-two thousand parts in August, thirty-three in July, thirty-five in June, so thirty-one in May. Yeah, it was just getting. It's it's a lot of work. I'm telling you, it's. You think this looks easy? The videos, if you watch the vlogs I put out, it is a ton of work. People think I work from morning to night. I try not to. <laughs> um, I do take every Sunday off. Don't work at all. So that def definitely is a good break. Um, but I do enjoy all of it. So 283,000 parts sold. 3,094 orders in one year. And last year we had 1,180. Almost triple that. Obviously triple the price. Triple the orders. Just crazy. 103,000 parts sold last year. So just amazing. I don't know if should I set goals for 2021. I don't know because, like I said, I'm going to scale this back a little bit. Um, it's just how it is. So December fans, we had ended up with 473 fans at the end of 2020. I should have put a. Well, I can't really do a tally with this. This is a running total. So we had 134 at the end of December, that, and I carried it. No, yeah. So 134 to 473 from one year later so that's over 400 fans we gained in one year in our fourth year on BrickLink so 
Wow, that's amazing. <laughs> that's crazy. Uh, 778 fans on uh, her follow. I guess it's followers on eBay. And it was... Uh, I don't have it on here. So I didn't. I apparently didn't track that in 2019 for eBay. Or I was. I think I just looked at it every video real quick, and I didn't have this down here. So anyway, we had we gained a good 400 or so. And then on our website, we had 330 visitors in December. So that is a wrap for 2020. That is amazing for 2020. I guess we'll look at the eBay store. Or yeah, we usually do that at the end of these videos. I don't know if I can get there. Um, but anyway, that is a great, great year. Um, everything, everything is going well. Oh, there's my watch list. What's that? Don't buy that. I'm going to buy it. No. Um, so visit the store here. Um, so yeah, I had a great time, worked a lot, made a lot, expanded the store a lot. And now the first few weeks in January, I got to figure out. Uh, I got to do my taxes. I guess got to get everything ready for the, I got to turn it in. So, um, 1,249 items for sale on eBay right now. So that is where we're at in there. And, uh, I, I, I talked about this in the vlogs. I'm not hope I know I don't plan on getting much higher than 1300 in this year. That could change. I don't know. Like I said, I'm going to try to focus a little bit more on, on eBay, get more minifigures ready. Um, just have a big stash. I mean, I do have a big stash, but just keep stockpiling complete figures ready to go um, and, and so forth and, and so on. So hope you all enjoyed the 2020 and uh, more, more fun stuff coming in uh, 2021. Until next time.